Here is a case of while doing PCNL for impacted inferior calicial stone, if you do over dilatation and perforate, it is really difficult for the rescue surgeon. 34 year old male patient complaining of left loin pain 3 weeks, left lower pole 20 mm stone. If you see here, this is a lower pole stone in CT and uh, it's impacted. Not a suitable case for RIRS because it is 25 mm. It is a good case for PCNL. Stone guided puncture can be done. The, in, the ureter and inferior calyx are close. Guide wire has gone easily. Dilatation is done very good. And the last dilatation, the even this is not correct, but it's okay. But space was there. This dilator is okay. But this, this caused problem. It has gone beyond the direction of this thing. And once we went in, nothing is seen. Blood. Then, we came out, we have punctured, stone guided in the lateral aspect, luckily guide wire has gone. This needs expertise. The rescue surgeon has come and gone inside, carefully dilated. We don't know whether the stone is in the system or not. Careful dilatation is done. And once we go inside with under dilatation, this is under dilatation and stone is seen, but with a lot of blood because the parenchyma is disrupted and you will have hell of time to uh, identify the guide wire is crucial. See, you are outside. You will be outside when the PCS is not dilated. Luckily, the uh, we could go into uh, PCS uh, by gentle rotation and at the edge of the parenchyma stone is there and uh, patient expects stone free rate. And this is not exactly in the pelvis. Relocating to pelvis is very difficult. If you break, they will go outside the kidney. It is very difficult situation. If it goes into pelvis, nothing like it. If it doesn't go into pelvis and stay in the area where it is uh, 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 injured, the PCS, then you have to be really tactful because the dilatation is uh, mini perk. You can't remove the entire fragment like that. You have to be quick. Uh, and uh, if possible, even if you leave small stone, okay, but you can't allow the bleeding to continue for a long time. This is a real-time video where how you face the problem. Simple over dilatation is not at all good. Fortunately, I am seeing mucosa at the infundibulum of the lower pole. We really don't know the cutoff point, how it will be there, unless we follow later on. But the RGP at the end is uh, better. All the stones in the ureter are careful removed because you cannot take any one more uh, risk of obstruction in this case. So this is a perforated area and when we move slightly above, you have to read the anatomy in which direction if you go, you are going into the pelvis. At any cost, guide wire should not come out, otherwise you have to come out, just press and come out. So this is the way every time at the end you will get clearly idea what has happened. And all these stones are some some small specks are outside. Uh, you can spend little amount of time to remove them, not too much take to the heart. Otherwise, uh, the parenchyma may bleed. See, I am able to see the mucosa. I have put the stent under vision. I have done RGP reasonably good. Lower calyx uh, is partially injured. No significant extravasation, and patient did post-operatively well. So never do over dilatation in densely impacted broad-based stone in inferior calyx or any calyx as a matter of fact is the message we wanted to give. Thank you.